Welcome back to the Hammersmith DIY channel. My name is Wyatt Groth and in today's product review video, I'm going to be talking to you about our range of balusters. So what I have in front of me here is a small selection of our range of uh, balusters. So before I start going into the, what different uh, products we have within the range, I just want to very briefly explain to you what I'm actually talking about when I talk about a baluster. When we talk about a baluster, what we're referring to is a balustrade on a staircase. So you can imagine a staircase, whether that uh, is um, on, the, on the angle, uh, so an actual stair, or where it might be up around the well rail the, on a second story. Uh, the balustrade is the partition which stops you from falling. Uh, and typically a balustrade is made up of three components. It is made up of a handrail, so the rail that sits on top that you hold onto. It is made up of what we would call a baluster or a balustrade. Um, and then it is made up of the bottom rail, so what the, the baluster is sitting into. So yeah, as I said, the balustrade is the whole thing. The various, various individual items, the handrail, the baluster, which forms part of the balustrade, uh, and then the base rail. What I want to talk to you about today are the balusters which make up the balustrade. And in simple terms, we have two different options. We have a timber baluster, or we have a metal baluster. And I wanted to go through the uh, two different options with you now. So what we have in front of me here is a range of six different timber balusters that we sell. And I just wanted to work through each one of them with you very quickly. Uh, basically, I would say we have uh, three different styles. Uh, we have what we call our turned design, so something like that. And then we have more of a planar design, something like that. So with our turned designs, uh, there are three different options that we have out there. The first one is something that we've been manufacturing now for many years. Uh, the design is called Tasman and the product code is JB002. So that's Joinery Balliser 002. And the, the Tasman style, as I said, we've been making this for decades and it's been a very popular baluster that we've been producing. Uh, the dimensions of all of our balusters you see here are 42 by 42. And then there's obviously a, a turn section there in the middle. Now this particular design uh, is, is a meter in length, so that's, that's 1,000 millimeters. And we manufacture the balusters specifically at that length so that it covers most applications of a staircase, whether it is on the angle of the stair or whether it's up around the, the balcony railing. And then obviously you would just cut back the baluster accordingly to the size you particularly need. But as I said, this is our Tasman design, the JB002. And the, by the way, the links uh, to all these products I'm going to be talking about are in the description below. Then we have what we refer to as our number one baluster. Not exactly the greatest name, but just something, a bit of a legacy of, of, a, of a product. Uh, this is our JB024. So that's the product code, JB024. Uh, a little bit different to our Tasman design. Uh, this one's more of a symmetrical profile where you have a, a, a centre part and then the same style top and bottom. Um, once again, a very traditional looking baluster. So yeah, our number one baluster is the name, uh, this particular style. And the, the third turn one is a little bit different to the other two in the sense that it's similar, if you have a look here, it's not too dissimilar to our Tasman design. The difference being though, that this particular baluster, as you can see on the top here, to show you here, and it doesn't have a square section. So the idea would obviously be that um, in most staircase scenarios, um, you would see here that uh, this is a piece of handrail with a 42 mil re rebate. Normally what would happen with this sort of product is on a particular staircase, the baluster itself slots into the rebate like so. Uh, so you can imagine if that's your, your handrail there, uh, that's how typically a, a, a balustrade is made up. And then in between that, you would normally have some, some fillet pieces of rail. That's a normal staircase where you have a square section on the top and a square section on the bottom. But in this particular scenario with this baluster, which uh, by the name this one is what we call our um, pin top baluster, and the product code is JB135, so that's joinery baluster 135. This one, as I said, has a pin section on top. And this particular diameter of pin section is, is 25 millimetres. So what you would do there, obviously, is in your handrail, you wouldn't have a rebar handrail, you just have a plain handrail like so. And then what you do is you drill yourself a hole, and then that would obviously screw up into there like so. So this particular style uh, is very popular with sort of a, 
or what we would describe as a bit more of an American sort of look where you have this sort of Hampton style home and you want a, a painted white baluster. So that's our range of turn styles. Now I wanted to briefly talk to you about the three other balusters we do which are not turned. When I say not turned, if you have a look at our first one here, which we call our rings with flute baluster, as you can see here, there are three rings and two flutes. I say this is not turned, obviously that section is turned, but the predominantly this baluster is a, is a fairly, fairly plain baluster. I'll just move these ones out the way so you can get a better look here. So yeah, three rings, two flutes, and you can see on the flutes are on all on all four sides. So that's a rings with flute baluster. Uh, product code for that one is JB008. Even more plainer than that, we have what we call our chamfered baluster. Now this one might be a little bit difficult to see, but if you have a look along, along here, uh, that on all four sides, it starts off as plain and then it dips down into a chamfer on the corners. It doesn't look much, uh, but when on used on a staircase, it, it's actually quite effective. And this is actually one of our most popular balusters that we sell. And the product code for this one is JB081, the chamfered baluster. And the final one, the plain baluster, uh, well, that we obviously call the plain baluster. Uh, the code for that is JB000. Um, and uh, yeah, as, as like all our balusters, 42 by 42, as you can see, literally there's no detail to it whatsoever. Once again, on a balustrade. I mean, it's not always about price. Some people, clearly the turnstile balusters are worth more than what a plain baluster is, but it's not always about price. Quite often it's just the look that someone is trying to achieve. And so a plain baluster, whilst it is cheaper than the other styles, uh, it can also look very effective just as a, a simple balustrade on a, on a staircase. So that's our range of, of timber balusters. Now before we move on to the metal balusters, what I wanted to talk to you finally about with the timber balusters was the two different timbers that each of these balusters are in. What you've seen here on this bench is radiata pine. What we also produce all of these styles of balusters in is a timber called Victorian ash. It's also known as Tasmanian oak or Australian oak, but in essence it's the, the same thing. This is a Tasmanian oak or Victorian ash baluster in the Tasman style. If I put the, the pine one up against it and you have a look here, you should be able to see the difference slightly. So with these two different balusters, basically what the, the idea behind it would be, the pine balusters are really designed more for paint purposes. Uh, you could obviously stain them, um, but painting is their main application. Whereas if you're wanting to have a, a polished or a, or a stained staircase and you wanted a, a baluster that matched, then that's where you would go with the Victorian ash. Um, it's just a little bit nicer timber, it's a hardwood, and it comes up a little bit better. And now we're gonna move on to the metal balusters, but before doing so, just wanted to remind you all that our website, hammersmith.com.au, is where you can buy all of these different balusters online. And uh, I'm gonna include links to the descriptions of the various balusters uh, below um, of this video, so you can easily click to our website. What we have here is our range of square metal balusters. Now very quickly, uh, I wanted to run through a couple of uh, uh, things which are common amongst all the balusters. So firstly, the length of them. All of these balusters that you see here are 1,090 millimeters in length, which means all of these balusters can be used uh, on the angle of a staircase, the top around the a balcony section, even on a cut string style of staircase. And you would obviously then, what you would do with this type of baluster is you would just cut the baluster accordingly. Now you might be thinking, well, being metal, um, how easy or, or difficult is it to cut? Well, the beauty of these balusters, and you need to have a, a, a close up look here, is you can actually see that the baluster itself is hollow. So being hollow uh, just makes the baluster a lot easier to kick, uh, cut. The particular wall thickness of these balusters is 1.2 millimeters. Uh, which is perfectly uh, thick enough uh, for the baluster uh, from a structural point of view on a staircase to be fine. And also more importantly, it becomes then easy to cut. So basically, the, some of the advantages of this being hollow, one, as I said, it's easy to cut. Two, it's actually quite lightweight, so you haven't got a lot, a lot of extra weight. And what I also wanted to point out to you, and might be hard to pick up in the video, but if you uh, take a really close look here, what you'll see is this finish, uh, this powder coated finish is a really smooth finish. And this is quite important. 
Uh, one of the things when we started um, selling this range of products, so obviously we manufacture timber products, so clearly we don't manufacture these, we buy these in, uh, they get made overseas. We were looking for someone uh, who we could buy metal ballasts from which had a really high quality finish. Because one of the issues we had noticed on the market out there, there were two things. One, all the metal ballasts that we saw in the market were all 12 by 12, whereas these are 16 by 16 millimetres. So all the ballasts were smaller in size and the finish on them was a bit, well, I would say, I thought it was a bit rubbish, but it was almost like a textured finish. Whereas we wanted something of better quality and we were able to find a supplier which produced a 16 by 16 baluster, which we think uh, made a nice point of difference. It was a little bit heavier, but also produced a really smooth finish. So from just a cleaning point of view, it's a lot easier than something which is a bit rough. As I said, it may be hard to pick up the video, but it is a real feature of this ballast and something we're, we're, we're quite proud of. In terms of the different styles, um, basically we start off with uh, what we call our, our JB300, which you can see here is literally just a plain baluster. As I said, 1,090 millimetres in length, just a plain style baluster. Then we move into the JB301, uh, which is our single twist. Obviously, you've just got this one twist section. And then that compares to our JB302, which is our double twist baluster. So you can see here, you've got a twist section there and a twist section up there. Then we move into JB303, which was what we call our single cage baluster. So you've got the twist section top and bottom, and then you have this cage section in the middle. And then we move on to the JB307. I might show this up like so, which is our S scroll. Uh, as you can see, got the shape of an S there, uh, quite a heavier baluster. Now the idea behind these ballasters is there's any number of configurations you could produce. So for example, you might just use a single twist and double twist and interchange them. You may use the single twist and every third baluster you put in a, a, a cage. Or you might use the plane and then every fourth baluster you put in an air scroll. It's really up to your imagination as to how you want to design it for the sort of look you're trying to achieve. So that's the beauty of these types of products. Now, if you go onto our website, you will probably notice there are two ballasters which are not shown here. And those two ballasters are what we call our single knuckle baluster, which is JB305, and our double knuckle baluster, JB306. Now, the way we actually show them on our website is a little bit different to the way we actually sell them when we send them to you. And I just want to show you how that goes now. So what we have here is our double knuckle baluster that I was just referring to before. And if you take a closer look here, you can see what I'm talking about with these knuckles. It's actually quite a nice looking feature, this particular baluster. And this particular version is the double knuckle one, which as I said, the product code for this is JB306. But as I mentioned, this is not the way the actual baluster is supplied. What we will actually supply to you is we will supply a plain baluster, the JB300, and then we will supply you the knuckles necessary to do the job. And the, what actually happens is here, if you take a closer look, there's a little Allen key, uh, and there's one on each side. I'll just try and show you there. There's one there, and then on the other side, you can see there's another one there. And so what you do, using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, uh, which you could just get from your local, your local hardware store, you would be supplied this particular knuckle not on the baluster. So if I just loosen these two, I'll show you what I mean. And then this knuckle just slides off like so, and same with this one here. Now, when we first started selling this particular uh, product, we actually used to import these with the knuckles already on. And then we decided it didn't seem to make much sense doing that because one of the problems with having the knuckles already positioned in place is once you screw them in place, they actually leave a slight little mark on the baluster. It's very hard to see it. I'm not sure if you can, you can get it from that, that angle there. But they leave a slight little mark where the obviously the little grub screw presses in place. And a few people have said to us, well, we would like to be able to adjust that knuckle accordingly. So we thought, well, why not just bring the baluster in plain? We're already selling the plain version of it, and then just bring the knuckles in separately. And then it's very easy for the customers to slide the knuckle onto the baluster wherever they want. So that's 
what we what we offer. So when we sell you a double or a single knuckle balisa, what you'll get is a plain balisa and either two knuckles if you're buying the double knuckle or a single knuckle obviously if you're buying the, the one and just using an Allen key, you can easily fit it on place yourself. And finally, what we have here is our range of round metal balisas. So I showed you before the square designs, 16 by 16. Now we have the round designs, also 16 mil. So what we're talking about, if you have a look down the, down the lens here, you can see it's a, a round profile. Once again, uh, it's a hollow balisa, so it's easy to cut. 1.2 millimeter wall thickness. Um, it's a nice lightweight product. Um, same finish as the, the square, a very beautiful smooth design. And uh, yeah, quite a nice looking baluster. Now in this particular range, uh, there's, it's a slightly smaller range than what the square is. So what we have is the JB400, which is our plain baluster. Then we then have our JB403, which is our single cage baluster, you can see here. And finally, we have our JB407, which is our S-scroll baluster. So the same sort of S-type pattern that you saw before with the square design. Now, like with the square design, the round design also has a single and double knuckle option. So the single uh, baluster with the single knuckle, I should say, is JB401, and the double knuckle one is JB402. And I've got these here for you to show you how they look. So if you take a look here in my hand, um, you can see that the knuckles are quite a bit smaller than the square design. If I show you here as a comparison, the square, as you can see, is, is, is quite a bit bigger. And these knuckles go on in the exact same way that the square one does. So you can see, if I take a look here, it's got this little grub screw. And what you do is you just slide this over the baluster like so. You position it where you want it. The actual Allen key you use on this one is a little bit smaller in size. I think from memory it's uh, 1.5 millimeters. Uh, but once again, it's just readily available from your local hardware store. And then you just fasten that down like so. Once you're happy with where you want it to go. Screw away there. Just point on. There we go. And that knuckle sits in place. So you can see there, obviously, you could put a second knuckle on accordingly. The same thing again, position that wherever you wanted to to. So similar with the square design, we used to bring these ballasters in exactly like you see it here, um, uh, already fully formed, but we decided a little while back that it just didn't make sense because people sometimes wanted to position their, their knuckles where they wanted to position them. And so the bet, it just made more sense to sell the plain baluster and then just sell the, put the knuckles, just supply the knuckles separately for customers to put on themselves. But once again, when you order the double knuckle, you're going to get a plain baluster and two knuckles for you to assemble yourself. Uh, the final part I wanted to talk about in this video is a, is a common question we get from people, which is, can these balusters be used outside? And in the case of all of the balusters I've shown you today, the answer is no. These are for internal application only. These metal balusters are literally just powder coated mild, mild steel. If you use them outside, they are going to be susceptible to rusting. And in the case of the timber balusters that you saw earlier, uh, they're not treated in any way, so they're not designed for outside application. We do sell treated balusters, and uh, I made another video uh, before with a range of different balusters we sell, which I'll include in a link up above there. Um, so as I said, uh, these ones are not designed for outside application. So please don't use them outside because you're going to have problems. Now, if you like what you've seen in today's video, please remember to hit the like button below and feel free to drop me a comment. And so I'm always happy to answer any comments you may have. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, turn that bell notification on so that you get updated when any new videos are landed. This is White Groth, signing off. Mm -hmm.